All right, uh, Crypto Vice asks, how are improvements, quote unquote, approved uh, or Bitcoin improvement proposals approved? Who decides? Um, and uh, the, the short answer is that it's the community of developers around Bitcoin Core that get to decide. Um, and you need something like consensus in order to do it. But the longer answer is that, first of all, you have to write up your proposal. And once you've written up your proposal, um, you put it into the community for some review. So it, it, you can post it to the Bitcoin devs uh, mailing list if there are some obvious conflicts or, or, or if the BIP's already been done or something like that, then they will let you know there and you can either merge it or try to do other improvements to it or if it's a brand new one and, uh, and you know, uh, there, there's some good definition around it then at that point you will be assigned a bit number. So for example, I did BIP 176, which is you know, utilizing the bits nomenclature. And that's, uh, that, that's something that Luke uh, you know, assigned me the number 176 after I had uh, cleaned it up and then uh, you know, put in a pull request into the BIPs repository and then you're assigned a number. But that's not, that's not the end of it. Once you're assigned a number, it doesn't mean that it's gonna get in by, uh, not by any long shot. At that point, you go and implement it. Uh, it might be actual code. Um, it, it might, if it's informational, then it, it, it's just sort of ended there. But if it's on the consensus track, well, then you need consensus in order to get it in. Um, and that means writing your code and putting it up for review. And that means that uh, you know a lot of different coders have to actually go and review it. Um, and you can't just like sort of object just because it's consensus doesn't mean that, oh, I object, therefore it's not gonna get in and you can be Joe Schmo or whatever. No, you have to actually have a good technical reason for why, why you're objecting. And, uh, and the community can judge, okay, that's a legitimate technical reason or that is complete nonsense. Um, and that, and you know, through iterations of that, and you know, actual, you know, okay, here's a possible way in which you can, can get attacked or whatever. Um, you refine the code. Uh, it may be multiple people working on this. And at a certain point, when it, when there is consensus, then it gets uh, merged in. But that that's how the bit process works. It's it, it's a very technical and meritocratic uh, process. And you're not going to get in something just um, uh, just because you want it. Neither are you going to have your thing rejected unless there's a good technical reason for it. So um, those are all things that uh, you know uh, that core devs are familiar with. Hopefully that answers your question on how that works. Uh, remember, you you can always become a core developer anytime you want. You just have to go and learn some of the code base and start contributing. I have a guide out there, a gentle introduction to Bitcoin development that you can go and find on Medium that I will put at the show notes of this video. So, yeah, uh, give it a shot, man. Um, you know, like a lot of people kind of get hung up on like what the approval process for something like that is. Um, and un unless you've really gone through it, you don't really understand how meritocratic it really is. It's, it's, it's about what people around you think and uh, how they evaluate it technically and not necessarily some sort of like social signaling thing. And anyway, hopefully that helps. Thanks.